your makerspace and the type of activities that you're going to deliver will be dictated by your resource, i.e. your staff or your volunteers. And how we identified what we were going to do in terms of the project delivery was taking a skills audit of all of our staff and all of our volunteers in relation to uh, makerspace type activities. And we basically said, you know, who are the gamers amongst you? Who are the programmers? Who are the tinkerers? Who are the artists who draw, who do all of these kind of things? And it was from that, uh, and that's still the case for all the other makerspaces that, that I'm helping code de develop at the moment, is that you, you've already got people you've already employed. You're going to have to work with them and the volunteers that you have already and find out from them, you know, we're looking to develop a makerspace or, you know, you're already kind of, you've already run in one. And it's about what kind of, uh, you take a skills audit of basically what everybody does, hobbies, interests, everything. And you basically then start to relate that back to um, makerspace type activities and digital activities. Um, and then you can create some form of program. And then the other aspect of that, why I'm so interested in digital youth work is because it is one of the few at the moment, because it's how new and how new it is in terms of its infancy and development, is that it's something that you can genuinely co-create with young people. Because there is a large aspect of other areas of youth work that we've been doing for decades, you know, uh, mental health, sexual health, um, detached youth work. Um, all of these other other things that we've been running in terms of youth work for a very long time, there's already a, um, lots of resource and program that as a youth worker, you can come in and basically be the, you know, the, the uh, uh, autonomy of all wisdom uh, in terms of guiding young people in terms of those aspects. But when it comes to the digital youth work activities, lots of staff and volunteers are actually at the same level. And, and as you pointed out, um, even um, there are young people there. I didn't know what a Raspberry Pi was. To me, it was still something you ate when I first started and people were showing me, this is a Raspberry Pi. This is the, basically a mini computer. I think if you bought 10 of these, Darren, um, I'll facilitate a session on it. And that's a 14-year-old. And I'm taking my lead from a 14-year-old. And that's the way that it should be because that's the youth work way of empowering. It's not I'm Darren with 20 years experience of youth work, so I'm going to run what I know what I'm going to run sort of thing. And it's like, okay, right, let's do that.